dogs are just awful today. Mosquitoes everywhere. Sprayed myself down like a million times too. There's a little cold in the shallows. Well, good morning, YouTube. Jeremy here. Again, this weekend I'm dodging rainstorms and thunderstorms. It's very foggy out this morning. Uh, I almost thought I didn't have a, uh, a chance to get out this morning. And so, unfortunately, despite it being, uh, oh, just spooked something right there. Despite it being 4th of July weekend, I don't really have anything patriotic planned. Um, and that's only because uh, less than eight hours ago, the uh, forecast for today changed. And uh, I found out that I had a very, very brief opportunity to get out on the water this morning. So I opted to get up at four o'clock this morning and head out to a local pond, which is why it is a, almost sunrise right now. And I'm just about getting on the water. Also, this is why I'm talking very softly, because uh, my voice tends to carry out over the water. And uh, this being Buck Pond, there are some houses along the water. So I want to make sure I'm nice and quiet. I don't wake anybody up at 10 after 5 in the morning. I don't think they'd be very happy. Also, please, shore anglers and boat anglers, clean up after yourselves. I'll, uh, I'll show you a clip later on of what I was dealing with, but uh, all morning long trying to unload the uh, kayak, I'm getting my feet tangled up in probably about 20 yards at least of uh, very heavy test braid. You don't need heavy test braid out here in something like this. I mean, we're talking marine braid. And if you get a tangle, don't just cut it off and leave it. Take it with you. Throw it out when you get home. Don't leave it on the shore, okay? Please. That being said, let me get some socks on because last weekend I burned a crescent-shaped spot right on my feet where my pants and Crocs did not meet. And with our little adventure in the salt marsh, I pretty much ruined my neoprene socks, like there's no getting that smell out of the socks, they're just done. So I'm gonna take my ugly feet here and I'm gonna cover them up. And that way if this fog does lift, the sun does come out ever so briefly this morning, I won't burn my feet. I am going to go stick to my guns and I'm going to go with Texas rig here. There's like no wind out here today, or I should say right now, I keep saying today and then about 20 minutes later, I'm proven wrong. So there's no wind now. 
also with me today. My phone. This time, I'm going to turn on airplane mode. And then I'm going to turn off, turn on Bluetooth. And apparently location is still on. Good to know. Hmm, good to know. So apparently hard bottom is actually at about 16 and a half feet below me, but uh, it's all, it's four feet of just thick vegetation. So today's thought, this winds up being too, too thick in here. Yeah, I'm not gonna use the pedal drive. So for now, unless I get a nice little Shine, stupid bugs. I'm gonna keep the phone holstered and uh, I'm paddle my way out beyond the plants here. Oh. I'm getting uh, getting fish. Nice couple of fish down below me. Can't really tell what they are. Could be bluegill. I can't tell with the uh, deeper yet. Only one way to find out. Ah, yep, no, oh, I got fish right here. I just missed the hook set, that's all. Ah, nope, come on. These are behaving like big bluegill. I may need to tie some uh, small jigs on here. Think. That may be the answer. fish right under me right now. I'm seeing a few bubbles here and there. Now, let's see if we can't figure out what's down there. Right behind me, a nice little splash. Yes. There we go. Thank you, little guy. Let's see if they can get any bigger. Apparently, I'm in about 12 feet of water. And there's some remarkable guys about six feet. There we go. I'm on a school of crappie. It's actually, come here. What a bad sized little guy right there. This is turning into a productive day, finally. Let's see if I can jig up some more. Oh, 
Oh, that was a solid hit, and I missed it. I mean, he just, he wanted that thing. Nope. Had him. He spit it right out. Came right back for seconds. Oh, yeah. Come here. Nice little guy right there. <laughs> they are hitting hard today. Oh, this is awesome. I, mean, I seriously don't even have to do anything here. They're hitting shallow enough. that I can just pull them in. Like, I can seriously just go cane pulling here. This is a riot. Oh. There we go. Nice guy right there. Yeah. I mean, I'm still drifting here. This, this school is pretty big. I mean, they must be right down the center here. Well, I might have just come to the end of it. Might be going too shallow now. Let's do that again. So let's say I should be more or less right where they were. A couple of minutes ago. I'm already getting uh, pings on the fish finder. just keep getting bigger and bigger. Nice guy right there. The trick is with crappie, you can't set the hook like you do a bass. And uh, they got little tiny mouths. I almost want to set the uh, anchor up here. Let me paddle back up. I think I was... Uh, in line with a great blue heron standing out there. So I think I was right along the same axis as him and the dock that's in the water over there. So I think what I shall do, I mean, seriously, I'm only fishing that far into the water and I'm jigging them up like that. It's, it's crazy, it's awesome. There they are again, so this is the... edge of that school again. Ah, that goes down there. fish at four feet, but I'm getting hits at around uh, eight and a half to nine. I bet you that's where the better ones are. So, 
I'm gonna do something I usually never do. I'm gonna take the bait caster out. Yeah, I gotta watch my head on that one. And I'm gonna do something. You bait caster purists are probably gonna hate me for. I'm gonna jig with it. Start a car startup. We're starting to wake up. About time. I've been out fishing all morning. What have you guys been doing? Sleeping? Actually, I'm kind of a little jealous right now, but not really. My friends, the crappie are back. the anchor line. That's a fish. Don't get my camera wet. I'm, I can see them right underneath. Oh, pulled it right out. Again, pulled it right out. There we go. guys kind of a little badly hooked here I think there so I just flattened the uh, barb on the hook I usually do that anyway but since this is just non-stop action here I figure Let's just take the barb off anyway. Yes. They're all the way down. To uh, nine feet here. No, <laughs> this one managed to grab a bunch of weeds along with the uh, along with the lure. Healed it too. There we go. This little green chartreuse uh, bug thing is the ticket today. Ah, 
catch and release. <laughs> Detected my fish just as it hit the water. That's a riot. Just missed one. Yeah, I'm in. Uh, I'm in the little guys here, definitely. But I'm really, really, really shallow. I'm glad I don't have my uh, drive down at all. But I'm still along the same uh, channel in here. Let's go to the shallows. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. You know what the really funny thing is, is that I am seriously less than a hundred feet from my car. It's fantastic fishing. Just out of uh, shore casting reach. This place is a riot sometimes. Skunked me ridiculously all year long. And then, uh, Finally, just one day it turns on. No, oh, it came off. Had something. Thinking it's a uh, pickerel. There we go. Back on the crappie. Nice size guy too, look at that. So, the deeper has officially crashed. <laughs> 